Let's work now on a population growth problem. The graph shows the population of species of bird where t represents the number of years since 2009 and p of t is the population measured in thousands. So t, that is the time, is going to be represented on the x-axis. We're going to call it from now on the t-axis. And p of t, that is our function, will be represented on the y-axis, on the vertical axis. And it will give us the population of the bird. Now, one thing that you need to pay attention to is that the problem says since, to, since 2009. So this means that the time starts at 2009 here. So this means that the zero corresponds to 2009. So 2009 plus one is going to give us 2010, plus two will give us 2011, and so on, plus six right here is going to give us 2015. Okay, 2009 plus 6 will give us the 2015. Uh, so each one of the points on the graph, on the uh, horizontal axis, will give us a year that corresponds by just a number 14. Uh, the PT also give us the population at the specific year. So at the initial population is, in 2009, will be 1,500. After one year, it will be somewhere between 15 and 1,500 and 2,000, so somewhere in 1,750 uh, uh, and so on. And we can see right here that we have a point that says that is 5,3200. 5, so this means that the, the population at the year 5, that is the 2014, is going to be equal to 3,200. So this is how we uh, read our graph. Now, the graph gives us a lot of information. We have this beautiful point right here, and we also have the y-intercept that basically tells us a lot about the initial population. Now, look at the first question. It says, find a function that models the population in time t, uh, that is uh, of the form p of t equals to p0 e to the rt. Now, too many letters. Okay, fine. Let's see what each one of those letters means. The P0 is going to be the initial population. So nothing else than the P0. And this is easy to find. Why? Because we have it already in the graph. This is 1500, right? When the T is 0, this is 1500. So this is nothing else than 1500. Okay, so we have that. Uh, then we have E, that is a natural logarithm, 2.71. We have R, that is a parameter that we don't know. And T is our actual variable that counts the years. Okay, so uh, the next thing that we want to... So is, since we know the initial population is 1500, and then we have some information for this function. This function actually uh, can be replaced now with PT equals to 1500 times e to the rt. Now, we still don't know what the r is. We definitely would like to know what the r is. How do we find this? Well, to find this, what we need to focus on is on this extra information that we have. What do we know? We know that p of 5 is going to be equal to 3200. We have this information. Well, yes, but p of 5 also from the equation that we have right here can be written as 1500 times e to the r5 because t is the number 5. Okay, good. So this is equal to 3200. So now if you look at this equation that you have right here, you can observe that the only variable that you have, the only number that you don't know what it is, is the r. So if we solve this equation for r, then we will know everything about the initial function. Okay, how do we do that? Well, this is nothing else than solving exponential equations. How do we do that? First of all, we divide both sides by 1500 in order to get rid of the 1500 and leave the power by itself. This will cancel this with that. 
and uh, if we simplify the 32 uh, 3200 by 1500 we have 32 over 15 so this gives us e to the 5r equals to 32 over 15 now we can solve this equation using logarithms how do we do that remember we consider what is the base of our power it is e so we take ln from both sides of the equation and we have ln of 5r e to the 5r sorry equals to ln of 32 over 15. We use now the power rule in order to bring the 5r down and we have 5r times ln of e equals to ln of 32 over 15. ln of e is equal to 1. So if we divide both sides by 5, then we know that r is equal to ln of 32 minus ln of 15. I apply here the quotient rule. Divide it by 5. So if, if I plug in now into my equation, P of t will look like P0, I'm sorry, will look like as 1500 times e to the ln of, let's put it together, I think it's better for us to put it together, divide by 15, divided by 5 times t. Well, let's look at this together. Can we further simplify it? Well, if you look at your exponent right here, you have e to the ln of a number, and the number is the 32 over 15, divided by 5. I can replace this by, let's look at it, everything else stays the same, so 1500 stays the same, and then I have e to the ln of 32 over 15, right? to the one-fifth times t. What did I do here? Well, you have a fraction at your exponent. It is like if you have ln of 32 divided by 15 times one-fifth times t. So I take the one-fifth out and I use the property of uh, uh, powers that says if you have ax to the y is equal to a x times y, right? So what I had here, it was ln of 32 over 15 divided by 5, so I took the one-fifth outside of my power. Why did I do that? Well, if you pay attention to what you have now inside your power, you have e to the ln of a number. Now, you have another uh, property that says that if you have e to the ln of a, then this is nothing else than a. And you have e to the ln of 32 over 15, so this is nothing else than 32 over 15. So this means that I can further simplify that, and I can write it as 1500, this doesn't change, times 32 over 15, to the one t over 5. And that's my function. This is equal to the pt. Can I further simplify it? Well, no, that's as much as I can do, because the 32 over 15 is already in uh, the base of the power here. How am I going to use that? Well, I'll use it right here, where it asks me to find the birth population uh, for 2020. So the first thing that I want you to do is go back to your graph and look at your numbers. The zero, when the t is zero, then the year is 2009. When the t is one, then the year is 2010, and so on.
when the t is 6 and the year is 2015. So when the year will become 2020, then the t will become equal to 11. How do I know that? Because in order to get the t when the year is 2015, and let me write it down, 2015 minus 2009, that I have right here, is equal to 6. And this 6 corresponds to the t, right? So 2020 minus 2009, that is the beginning of the year, will give me 11. And this will be equal to my t. So basically, this problem asks me to find the p of 11. So the only thing that I need to do is I need to plug in the number 11 in my equation. And I have 32 divided by 15 to the 11 over 5. Now if you want to calculate this, you need a calculator. So we can use the calculator right here and make sure that we enter the numbers correctly in the correct order. So first you put the base, you calculate 32 divided by 15. The number is 2.1333 repeatedly. And then this is going to be the base to your exponent. So you use this uh, x to the y but now the y is 11 over 5, so either you calculate 11 over 5, that is 2.2, or what you need is parentheses here in order to put 11 divided by 5, 2.2, you calculated that. Your result is 5.2957, and you multiply this by 1500. And the result is 7943. And that's your answer for this problem. To approximate 7,944. But 